Okay, so here we have our EMEC or MG100 uh, with trigger installed into an EMEC on this gun. This is our beautiful red one. And I'm just going to show you how to tune the trigger. Now, there are three set screws. The top one that goes up underneath here is to take out all the slack before the safety. And you want to screw that in until the safety can engage, but the trigger doesn't have any slop. If you screw it in too far, the safety will not engage. You don't have a safety, so you have to back it out just a little bit. I've got this one just about perfect. So you see there's no slop, no motion in the trigger whatsoever. Safety is a little bit stiff. I can put it on and I can put it off. Nice solid snap to it. So I'm never going to accidentally engage the safety. Never accidentally disengage it. Okay, so then I'm going to have the activation point and we're going to have a rear stop. Now, where we have the activation point come out of the factory is pretty darn good. So what you want to do is you want to be able to activate the gun, have it fire, come forwards, reset, and then just a tiny little bit of forward motion after the gun resets. So this is for the forward point, and this is pretty much perfect. And then we're going to do the rear stop. And with the rear stop, very simply, we want to make sure the gun fires reliably. And then there's a little bit of motion before it stops. And so we can take a little bit of slack out of the, uh, the rear stop. So I'm going to simply, I'm trying to get this on camera. It's not quite so easy. Okay, so I'm going to simply screw in the lower of the set screws to bring the trigger stop further back. And to test the trigger, I like to put a finger behind it, finger behind it, and then pull against it very slowly. And so I do my auto cocker triggers as well. I get the point that it fires. And I can take a little bit more out of that. Okay, go back just a little bit, I went a little too far. All right, so the trigger will pull, you'll activate the gun, and then there's a little bit of motion afterwards, and a little bit of clearance on the full stroke. So now we have a trigger and it's probably, try and get a, a good view. probably about five millimeters at the very tip. Now our trigger is actually longer than the stock trigger, which allows you to have a little bit more leverage and it's flatter so that you can pull the trigger at any point on the trigger that you like. So that trigger is now significantly, significantly shorter and significantly lighter than the stock trigger. And using our muffler, so we try to keep the noise down, don't annoy the neighbors. There you go. That is the Fang Trigger from Inception Designs, available now in polished red, which I think looks the best on the gun. Or if you want to be a little bit more subtle, we also have it in polished black.